Hello and welcome to my model railroad. My name is Gabe. This is my N scale Green Bay and Western New London subdivision. It's a what if scenario if the Green Bay and Western, well, made it through to the modern day. Uh, I'm a big fan of the CN and not a fan of prototype modeling per se, as I am. I kind of like doing my own thing, so I kind of decided I would pick a nearby rail line. I live near where the Green Bay and Western used to run. And uh, model it as a what if. What if the Green Bay and Western kind of made it through? <laughs> you know, didn't get bought out by the WC and then eventually turned into the uh, Canadian National. And most of the New London subdivision is now gone. Uh, fortunately, the Whitehall sub is still there, but uh, yeah, the Green Bay and Western is doing well in 2024. It's uh, become a, pro a profitable bridge route and uh, hauls a lot of traffic between Green Bay and uh, East Winona uh, on the BN where it interchanges with the BN BNSF. Yeah, you know, a lot of on-track industries, uh, especially on the New London sub. Uh, the Whitehall sub is a lot more still related to sand. I figure that makes a lot of sense for why the Whitehall sub still exists. I mean, it still exists in the modern day because of all the sand mines out there. So that's kind of what the Whitehall sub's all about. But this will focus. This model railroad will focus on the New London sub, uh, particularly between New London and Seymour with uh, the village of Shyocton and the village of Black Creek also being uh, featured. Uh, right now you're seeing CN 2689 sitting in what will be the uh, staging yard for the layout. It'll be both ends. Uh, this is uh, The layout's basically a folded uh, figure eight, but uh, whatever you don't want to see a static video of a train some guy talking so uh, Let's let's run it. Um, this is a scale trains uh, uh, Sorry an N scale scale trains dash nine operator series uh, Which is fine with me because it's eventually going to get painted into Green Bay and Western colors and uh, I'm already afraid to do that with an operator level model So I'd hate to find out what my anxiety would be like when it comes to a uh, what are they called rivet counter models? Yeah, so yeah, we'll we'll get to that. But yeah, let's start her up, and I'll kind of show you how big of our train is. Uh, this one is 15, 14 cars, I believe, um, which is kind of the length I want to go with for the layout. That's what the sidings are meant are built for, um, and then the yard also. Uh, as you can see, it'll have some intermodal traffic. Um, expect it to be more intermodal as a unit train, not so much. Uh, manifest freight on the end but uh that's all i got for intermodal cars right now so we do with what we got same with this being the only locomotive i got for the layout right now uh, i've been focusing on getting the track work done and uh bench work which is all expensive and yeah, you, if you're in the hobby you know how it is so let's see headlights uh, ditch lights uh not sound equipped haven't gotten there we'll see if i get to sound equipped locomotives or anything but it's pricey and end scale small so it's kind of hard to justify $300 for something that is uh, about the length of my hand so yeah. anyways let's lead this train out of the staging yard and we will be headed uh, westbound or sorry eastbound actually so we'll get her started here we're using an NCE power cab for this so that's what's running the layout right now Eventually, I would like to get myself a wireless throttle. Get her up to speed step 30. That's kind of going to be the main line run speed for most of the layout. So this is all still staging yard, staging yard, staging yard. It'll kind of become apparent where it is. And uh, I'm going to make a quick duck here. Under. And this is where it'll pop out. This will be the... Uh, I might put a building here and call it Manawa. We'll see. Um, well, here comes the train. This is the portion 
where you'll be able to see both parts of the main line at the same time. And I'm not all that worried about it. I wanted a continuous loop. Uh, this switch here will be the uh, west end of the New London siding. So, keep coming. Keep coming. Uh, these, where these cars are right here, this will be an interchange yard with the Foxy. So the Foxy has some other railroad to interchange with other than just the uh, Canadian National. So the New London, or the Foxy, the Fox River Valley and Lake Superior runs to New London currently and actually operates a portion of the CN or the old GB and W New London subdivision. Uh, but th this will give it a second interchange. So here's the bridge over in Barris Creek. This spur will go to a lumber company, and this spur will be the sneak off of the Foxy. And there will be a, a backdrop right about there, so you won't see this diamond crossing where it folds over. Again, i got a duck under. Right here will be the small village of Shyocton. It's literally just going to be the road crossing and the buildings there. No, uh, no industry or anything like that. Uh, here's the west end of Black Creek siding. You can see over. Yeah. Um, so there'll be a siding in Black Creek. Those cars are there, just kind of represent. Uh, here's going to be a cheese factory. Um, so, and a backdrop right here, because this is the staging yard we talked about earlier, but the backdrop will be right here. Oops, let's focus on the trains. Uh, so yeah, so it'll be about one foot shelf there. And then, uh, yep, cheese factory two spurs to work there for the local. Um, this will be another crossing with the Fox, uh, Foxy, but this will be the Foxy's uh, Shano sub. No interchange here, but I don't think that's necessary. Um, and then this is the portion where, again, you can see both parts of the main line at the same time, is what it is. We're gonna slow down, because we're about to come into Seymour over here, which is on the opposite side of the bench work from the uh, city of New London. So this will be a grain elevator here. Sorry, you can't see my hand. This will be a grain elevator here. That's kind of what that's representing. Uh, we're crossing Elizabeth Street now. And then we'll cross South Main Street. Again, there'll be a backdrop right here. So you won't be able to see New London from here. Uh, flour mill, which I kind of got mm, an idea of what I want here, but not completed yet. <clears throat> uh, all the trackage is code 55. Um, number seven turnouts, uh, most of the minimum radius is 20 radius. Uh, there are some portions, I think a portion of the staging yard where I didn't really measure what the trackage would be, like what the curva curvature of the trackage would be, but everything runs on, including those long auto racks you've seen go by. So anyways. Um, right here, there'll be another industry. I forget the name of it. And then we'll duck into the backdrop here. So it'll be right here. So then you won't see that crossing. And then we'll enter the staging yard here, which there's the, what is that, the west switch into the staging yard. You know, it's a circle, it kind of, it's hard to tell sometimes. But yeah, so that's the layout. Um, again, folded uh, figure eight design um, basically a giant donut so I'll, I'll, I'll kind of step back here duck under so there's kind of the whole railroad again be a backdrop down the middle here dividing New London from Seymour and then there'll be a backdrop down the middle here which will divide the staging yard where the train currently is wait right there from Black Creek, which is right in the front there. Um, yeah, anyways, like I said, uh, work in progress. It's taken me about a year to get here from nothing. Uh, I think uh, now that I got the complete main line laid down, I got enough of the switches to uh, lay all but one more uh, of the modeled trackage. Don't have the switches for the staging yard left, or yet. Uh, last time I tried ordering track and whatnot, I didn't... Uh, Train World didn't have uh, the Code 55 flex tracks. I didn't order that, so I'm kind of stuck at where I'm at right now, which is fine. I'm glad to have trains that can at least go around in a circle and I can run them. And uh, I operate a little bit by running a train from one uh, 
siding to another, pretending it's passing other freights and stuff. But, um, well, I hope you all like the video. I hope you all like the layout, and I hope to uh, post more. So, just let me know if you guys are, if you guys like this or interested in it or find this mundane and boring and reductive. You know, all that's helpful to know. But to be honest, just let me know. Comment. Uh, subscribe or like if that's your kind of thing so uh, again thanks for seeing my layout and uh, have a safe day bye